Hey folks, this is Jimmy here in Strange, Vermont, up on top of Paleo Mountain. I walked out here in the mound area because, um, well, I don't know why. I just felt drawn to be here. There's a couple mounds here. One's there, one's there. There's a trench behind it right here. The east is out there. And we're pretty high up. If The land descends as you go down to the Connecticut River. About a mile away. That's the east. The west is that way where this, that wall that runs along The horizon line. And that right there is a serpent head. Because that's a serpent wall. Ancient Native American stone megalithic construction. Here's another cool stone. And it's a very important symbol. Just the way it's a split stone. It has three parts to it. And if you know ancient wisdom and religion and thought, it's a representation of the world in three parts. It sticks up out of the ground here. There's a strange stone there. And I pushed some of the dirt away from the bottom. I wanted to see if it was standing on other stones. There may be other stones under there, but these stones were right there, just laying under the dirt. And you can see there are beautiful white quartz. And This is in the shape of a notched axe. And there's a face right there. The eyes, the nose, headdress. Not unusual to find that here. This stone came out of the ground here. It's definitely a hand tool or a celt, maybe. Curious stone. Very beautiful, isn't it? Very sharp edge there. Some type of a uh, hand tool. Finger knife. Um, I 
the white quartz up here I think was sacred, used for sacred things. They're almost a prayer left on the land. This is a sacred spot. Everything here is sacred. It's all protected. Um, there's a trail of white quartz going through the woods here. It's all in the ground. The maple trees grow up the roots go down to the ledge, which isn't very deep here, and then they bring up all these artifacts with them. All of this is brought up naturally by this tree. There's not much dirt up here, and it's actually bare right up on that hill up there. There's no dirt at all. But you can see that something was going on here. All of these stones have been worked on and it looks like people sat here and created objects, stone tools. Pestle, I think. Very sharp. It's a beautiful pink stone growing into the root there. It's in the ground, in the root. It's in the root. That's in the root. There's a hammer stone. I found this a couple years ago. I'll take it out so you can see it. Beautiful. It's sitting right on top of the root that pushed it up out of the ground. The root lifted it up, and there it sits. All kinds of stuff here. And this is just what's on the top. I can imagine what's underneath the ground here. You can see where it's grown into the root. I wonder how many um, stones are swallowed up inside the tree itself. And this is the east side, which is where all the burials would be. And standing stone, standing stone. Quartz everywhere. Quartz there, coming out of the ground. Serpent wall. We'll walk up to the serpent head. Now, I own 15 acres here and it straddles the top of this ridge, wraps up and over it from the west to the east. We're looking west. And this is an ancient stone serpent wall. Several hundred meters long, 
and it begins in that direction in a series of wells and natural springs. Everything about this wall is anom anomalous. It sits on ledge. Under these leaves are all ledge. The quartz veins running through it. It's an astronomical instrument and you can mark the place that the sun sets on the horizon from here. And there's special holes and tunnels through the wall that do just that. And there's chambers in this wall that hold secrets, stones that have carvings on them and information and ancient looking stones. And there's ways to get in, into those chambers by certain stones you can pull out of this wall and put your hand in there if you dare to, which I don't do, but I've identified a few of the, the hollow spaces and it's pretty interesting, to say the least. I'm not a believer in moving things around and taking things out of place. I take stones off the ground that I find. And the only place I've ever dug in this area is in my garden, where I put my vegetables in and stuff, which is right in front of the wall, right down there. And it's only maybe a quarter of an acre. And I've, I've dug several holes in it, turned the soil, and found quite a few garnets and stones and all kinds of stuff, which I've studied and looked at. I don't sell any of these things. I've never sold anything. I don't give them away because they all seem to want to be here, all these objects. And see, they just lie around. This place has never been touched because it was a, a farm for sheep and for cows. And plows never made it to the field because it's just um, hay grass out there. And you don't turn hay grass, you just cut it down. This stone here is some type of monument. I believe it's granite and it's a giant artifact. You can see how it's been chipped out and all the sides on it, all the edges are chipped out. It's got a couple carvings in it, petroglyphs. And it's a curious shape. This is a natural walkway through the wall. It seems to point you to go this way. Very curious, isn't it? Something's under there. I mean, it's just my guess. And I'll show you why. You walk down the wall a little bit, you get to this strange area. Where this piece of bedrock jets out at a 90 degree angle from the wall. And you have this here. And over here, there's a chamber with all kinds of objects in it. There is a rock that goes over the top of this. 
which I pulled off to look at. But those are the stones in there. And there were other stones found in there. Some, my um, golden-eyed buffalo was found right in here. Piece of quartz with the eye of the buffalo is a piece of gold somehow attached. It's an anomaly. This big boulder is sitting on that tiny little piece of stone. Crazy, huh? White quartz. Um, I tried to talk to the state archaeologist about all this, and he just said farmers are responsible for all of this. And all this, the white stone, and all the tools I found, and all the objects are all glacial debris. That was the excuse I got. But it was a professional opinion, so what could I say? Glacial debris. This is a natural walkway through the wall, and it's all white quartz. And you would just walk up through here. Stone circle right there. Curious stone. This whole wall is built on ledge. Curious, huh? If you follow this pathway a few hundred feet, you get to a chamber. A deep vertical, not vertical, but 30 degree shaft into the ground built using giant stones. Very old looking structure. And there's a serpent head. With its tunnel. And over here. We got the spiral. That spiral's really neat. And over here, you have another tunnel to view the horizon with. Up to the serpent. This is Jimmy here in Paleo Mountain, in a strange Vermont, in front of a giant artifact.
ancient Indian construction. Thank you for watching.